Ready, go! Alrighty, ladies and gents, we're back. We've got the reach out. And we've got a special, <laughs> special training. Stick special, around special. for this one. This one, if, you, if, if, you, if you're 20 seconds into the video right now and you're contemplating pressing skip or closing it down, reconsider it. Because this one's a gold mine. This one's a gold mine. Jordan's probably going to make me suffer really bad. I'm going to maybe cry, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you, now, you, now you're probably intrigued. Yeah. You're probably, if you're still here at this point, you're like, what is about to happen? <laughs> oh, God. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to another world. This is, this is a foundation, guys, that Devin Larratt gave us five years ago. Yeah. Five years ago, Devin Larratt taught us how to move on the table. And um, tonight's session, what do we call it? We call it... Passive pressures. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a war. It's got a, good, it's got a good name to it, I guess. We're <laughs> gonna have a war of there in passive pressures. No one is allowed to hard counter. I, if you don't want hard counter, hard counter is forcing through something. There is no forcing right. through. There is no forcing through anywhere. We are going to have an arm wrestle, and the objective is going to be to impart so much lactic acid into your opponent through the use of passive pressure so much so that they just want to die <laughs> I did this block with a dare the other night I didn't film it because it was new to him but I'm going to film the next one because man he suffered hard but it's scary coming up against this hand because <laughs> I know what this hand is doing <laughs> so this isn't going to be a back and forth aggressive looking session a lot of the time we're going to be sitting very still mm -hmm. um but there's little tiny tiny movements that we're yeah, everything's going to be the the very small stuff that matters when you know you're in that intense match you see you often see Devin, you know in a match just move that shoulder forward get the arm up this is mm -hmm. going to be the the smaller ones than that yeah yeah um, now, now the the effort mm -hmm. somewhere normally starts off between what 30 and 50 percent of, of your overall effort. Mm. That's about the zone. Yeah. Um, if one person is suffering, the person winning has to ramp down the the pressure so that this person can still maintain. When I was with Lachlan the other day, I reckon we went down to 4% pressure because that's how gassed he was. But anyway, so I'm, we're going to do 10 minutes. I'm going to put the 10 minute timer on. So I've got my phone there so I can see the yeah. time. Because yeah. <laughs> normally we do this to music. We normally put songs on. And so we've let's done it three, 21 four, five, minutes. 21 minutes is our longest. But if I put music on, YouTube's not going to let me monetize, which means that I'm not going to be able to pay my mortgage. So, right. we're going to have to we'll do this. Suffer in silence. <laughs> in silence. Oh, okay. Or well, we could just start. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I won't mention that on YouTube. You don't want to hear Ryan singing and I'm going to at the same time. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this, my, cl my clock's got defaults on the timer. Steam eggs. We're gonna steam eggs for 10 minutes. Oh, steaming eggs, that might be the name of this <laughs> video right there. Oh, that's gonna there be go. a great title. S Passive pressures and steaming <laughs> eggs. <laughs> you now know why the title was so So big. we're doing this in the strap, you'll see. Um, Just makes it easier, because sometimes, you know, um, you get a really big pump uh, in one section and you don't want to always be fully holding on. Sometimes you can just rely on a little bit of post. When I did this with Lachlan, the first one we did out of straps, but then we did three in straps. Yeah. So, so we did we did four lots of three songs. So we did about 40 minutes total with, with Lachlan the other day. Oh Alright, no warm up for this. You don't need it. This will, is your warm up. Ready, set, go. 10 minutes starts now. Okay, so no one, straight away. Right now it just looks like we're doing nothing. This is often how it'll start. We're just cup, bit of pronation, and back pressure. And then what we'll do, and one of the best things about this, other than developing lactic acid threshold, is you get the ability to learn how to move. Like I said, no one's gonna how force to anything. But I'm gonna try to put Jordan in a position where he's going to bleed or accumulate lactic acid faster than me. <laughs> it always works out well for Ryan. I might get you, we haven't done this to this this intensity for a while. I might get you tonight. I'm gonna try to talk myself into victory here. <laughs> you never know. This is where I go into my Zen zone, YouTube. 
you, and I focus on what Ryan's doing, and he focuses yes. on trying not to th make me think that I've got too much <laughs> lactic acid. There's so many zones you go through doing this. There and may be a lot of laughter in this video, just so yeah. <laughs> and like, and like Jordan said there, actually, my brain's not working, I've forgotten exactly what you said, but the point that I think I was going to make was that you're constantly feeling. Mm. Looks like we're sitting here doing nothing. We have, how many times have we had people at our club say, you guys going to do anything? Too when, many. when we're doing this. Too many. And they might have a camera out waiting for us to, because they think, oh look, Ryan's, Ryan, Ryan and Jordan are about to arm wrestle. Let's, let's watch this. This will be interesting that we do this. And they're like, um... And you hear them pause, hey guys. and then start again. <laughs> and then pause. They keep on waiting All for right, us to hit. Start. <laughs> but this, as confusing as it may look, ultra beneficial for technical development. So you can see postures are ever so slightly changing. What happens is you're going to feel the accumulation of lactic acid somewhere in your arm, in your hand. And you're going to, at this pressure, 30 to 50%, you've got the ability to move and feel the effect. Like just me doing that changes the way like the acid is building up compared to if I'm here. Foot change, everything. But right now, oh, I can feel Jordan's, jo Jordan, I don't know what Jordan's doing. <laughs> I always do the same Jordan thing. Jordan is <laughs> using his B game right now. <laughs> To bleed me. If he needs to bring out his A game, he will. His A game is his head. Right now he's just using palm based pressure, <laughs> gradual side pressure on me, and I, he hasn't even turned the cup on. <laughs> I don't want him to turn the I'm cup on. I'm partially back. Mm. I'm just sit, sitting though. on his arm. If I, if I let him just sit like this for too long, <laughs> it's gonna cost you. You get bad biceps. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm in a sweet zone. You can have that. And really, one of us, whoever ends up palm up, is in the hurt locker. <laughs> and you can see, I've already started to edge <laughs> this way. <laughs> and this little bean down here is starting to talk. I don't know if anything, nothing's probably talking. You know, <laughs> enjoy <laughs> the time. <laughs> you <must. laughs> mm, And then you'll see, see me do it. You'll, start, you'll, see, like, you'll <laughs> see me start to commit shoulder once I'm like. Come on. But see me sit here for about another three minutes. <laughs> the thing, like we said, guys, the thing is, I could right now surge and get Jordan out, but that's not the game. The game is passive pressures. You, it, you balance the passive pressures. You shouldn't ever be dragging someone ever. You should be passively balanced, and the only reason you start to gain victory is because the other person retreats from their lactic acid. So we started dead center. I've retreated about an inch and a half off center and Jordan's just passively filled that gap. And I've, right, I've now found a zone where I'm willing to match and so we're stuck and I'm hoping to come back this way at some point. But you, <laughs> you can see it's not that <laughs> Ah, Jordan. <laughs> Lachlan's gonna hate it if he doesn't Yeah, leave. Lachlan's gonna hate this. I can't wait to watch you do this to Lachlan. Do I have fun with Lachlan? How far into this 10 minutes are we? We're, we're almost halfway. So 10 minutes guys, for me and Jordan, it's actually not a long time. Um, like I said, we, we, we'll, I did 40 minutes of this with Lachlan the other night uh, in, in stages. Um, Jordan and I have done it for sort of 20 odd minutes continuous. Um, but this really is the foundation of how we would arm wrestle. When we, when we talk about the fact that we did table time every day for Four years, five years. Mm. Most of it was this. Yeah. Ooh. Right. I'm changing off angle one. Oh, oh. Right back onto it. Yeah, you just <laughs> put it all back onto where it was. So you can see I've supinated. I've gone palm up to try to rest, but Jordan has followed my supination with the cup and he's attacking the exact same area that was bleeding before. And I make this a tactical game where mm. I try and target the exact same spot that I start with yeah. on my opponent. <laughs> yes. To the point where when, they get to the point where they think they can't do anymore 
and then I retreat to another. And when they start, when your opponent starts to squirm, you follow and say, "No, yeah. you can't get off that muscle yeah. group that's bleeding." Yeah. And that is the true art of making someone want to pin themselves. Yep. Yeah. Oh. If I if I last ten minutes without wanting to die. <laughs> Because there's only three minutes, let's keep going because I, I want YouTube to see how this plays out. Sure. I'm at 3.40 to go to the 10 minutes and brachialis lactic acid pain for me now is is getting to discomfort zone Charlie, we'll call it. <laughs> discomfort zone Charlie. Once we get to discomfort zone alpha, I won't be talking anymore. <laughs> anything of yours. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. See the movements from Jordan. He's not letting me change. And like I said, I could hard counter and change. But that's banned in this game. There is no hard counter. Ryan's got to wait for me to make a mistake. Yeah, you've been, you haven't let me off the same bleed the entire time. And I'm, I'm sticking with it. I'm like, hey, it's hurting, I can deal with it. I'm hoping you're going to need to change somewhere. My hand's starting to go, I'm always losing my shelf in the cup. Oh, you're a prick. <laughs> I hate to say it, but rep shot, rep shot. Oh, that, that feels good. <laughs> Can't help but distracts. It's like, what's that movie? Let me take your mind of that broken yeah. leg and he stabs the thumb. What's the movie? <laughs> the drill sergeant. Uh, major pain? Yes, major pain. <laughs> Slapping your brachialis. It was, it was the, the attempted accent. Uh, that... No, I was like, there we go. I've gone palm up. I'm, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I've just pressed. Which has gone me. No, no, no. Fully palm up. Now I'm fine. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell have we got? What are we up to? Uh, we're, we're at eight and a half minutes. <laughs> uh, I'm good. <laughs> this is... This is uh, bravo for Ryan now. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's talking himself out of it yeah. and laughing at the same time. <laughs> mm. oh, now you start to pulse something. <laughs> Jesus, that's when you, the flooding really happens. <laughs> Approaching Alpha. <laughs> Approaching Alpha. <laughs> Fuck it. 44 seconds yeah, till 10 minutes. Massive. I'm, I'm probably putting an extra 2-3% oh. pressure. But the, 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 the pressure in the hands not changing. It's just this body rocking movement that's just if you flooding, see, flooding, if you flooding. Here, YouTube, it's actually my elbow. Ooh. I'm just... You're doing I just want to make the 10 minutes, that's the part people throw out over there. <laughs> you got to be a couple of seconds away. Yeah, 10 seconds to 10 minutes. <laughs> right, 10 minutes to that too, that'll do. Alright, so, that's round one. We're not going to film a whole bunch then, but we'll do this again. The really good thing about, well, one of the really good things about this is you recover immensely quickly from it. As much as I was in a lot of lactic acid pain there, there's no muscular fatigue of any significance, there's no stretches. Um, thank you, Alarm. Stop. There's no stretches, and within like a minute and a half, I'll feel like, yeah, I'm good to go. Let's, let's, let's go again. Yeah. Um, so, I remember the pressure level. Mm. What, well, do we, what do we call this? Passive pressures. Steaming eggs put with passive pressure. Yeah. So well, I think I was the egg. egg. I think I was the egg. Yeah, mate, you cracked. But you were steaming, <laughs> steaming me. I was the egg. You were the boiler. 
That's the, that's the coolest name for a video, steaming eggs with passive pressure. It's going to intrigue people. My water gets hotter and hotter. Yeah, yeah. But like I said guys, can't stress enough the value of that yeah. style. If, if you're um, like getting a lot of pain in your arms, if you, oh, th this is like rehabilitative to the max. Yes. If you can find the right training partner to do this with, then, oh. Go for go for gold. Like spend spend an hour doing this. If you've got inner elbow issues, nothing. Just, no better rehab than this because it's it's ticking so many boxes at the same time. Not only the rehab, but you will develop the technical ability to move. Now, this translates to high pressure arm wrestling. Yep. If any match that stops, mm. this becomes the game. What I did to Evan Burgoyne, what I did to Big Matai Warren, Hedda Morris. What I do to Mario Tembarkas. 90% of the time. 90% of the time. <laughs> Whenever a match stops, <laughs> this game becomes relevant. It might be at 90% effort rather than 30 to 50, but passively following and filling and not allowing someone to get off their area that's burning will make them pin themselves and win the match for you in the most efficient way possible. <laughs> you can be weaker than them and get this done. If you can achieve one stop, that's all you need. One stop on one fundamental, you can then put someone into this zone. By, I might, my, let's say my, your stop on me, let me, let's say my stop on you is my cut via your pronation. Mm -hmm. Every time he goes to come in on there, I say no, let's go back to cut versus pronation. And because I know that's where my one stop is, and then I can lead that dance, keeping you on that one stop. Anyway. And then the smarter person bypasses that and goes around it. Yeah, yeah. And it's a rabbit hole that will go so deep that you'll um, you'll you'll love it. Yep. And it all also translates to setup awareness. The little minute things that you feel here. The things that you actually want to have. The things that you don't want to have. If someone's covering you too much, mm. the way to get around that. Super neat. Tiny strokes, as Devin would say. Yep. This is where you learn tiny strokes. And remember, this was given to us by Devin. Five years ago because he saw something in us that know. was he saw that we wanted to learn. Yeah. Like he, we could see we were like we were yeah. hungry, like we wanna be the dudes mm. in the country. And he was like, Alright, here it is. This is this is what I would recommend. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here and, and try to survive another round of that stuff. Take care, YouTube. Yes, that's a bit!